It became very, very clear to me as I was leaving IGN. It's like, we are so f***ing slow when it comes yeah. to news that I don't know if it's even valuable anymore to try to compete with YouTubers. Listen, how are things at Kotaku? They're great. I mean, Jen's here. Uh-huh, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah. Jen! <laughs> you you it, have to say it's great. It's great. It's amazing. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> Editor-in-chief of yeah. Kotaku. Yeah. After Thank many God. years at Inverse, yeah. Jim, what's the idea with Kotaku? What happens next? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what's the plan? Like, Don't tell the competition. Like, Sam, you press up and then you just steer it straight into the front. I worked at Kotaku for 20 years, you know? Like, I want us to go back to kind of like the glory days, the heyday, you know? Like, I want us to still be like smart and sharp and authoritative, but, but most of all, authentic. I think that's why people come to Kotaku. It was just that sense of like, you are getting some real yeah. unvarnished. Yeah, <laughs> unvarnished something. Um, so, yeah. You know, just uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching everybody. Bergerotic.com. The talk <laughs> lady is, is ready to try to witch hunt me right now. Apparently I just learned. Oh. So. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Alyssa Mercante or Alyssa Mercantile, mm -hmm. she basically tweeted out that she's looking to do another story based on a Twitch streamer, Christian, who's posted homophobic views and shit like that. <laughs> and wants, and wants a bunch of information on who her. Who could that be? Uh, yeah. And she's uh, like, like, I'm looking for people who knew her before her her rise oh, to yeah. fame. Oh, send me an email. Radicalism. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> trying to imply that, oh, well, you just started doing all this commentary for the Griff to get famous. And it's like, are you, are you mm. aware I was hosting for GameStop TV, Riot Games, Walmart Game Center, all of these companies. And I threw all that in the trash to start speaking out and sharing my opinions. But no, it's they're gonna try to I, paint I, this narrative. Melanie, I would, <laughs> I would be offended if I were you. Because she didn't even mention transphobia. Yeah. I know! <laughs> How dare she? If, if she's going to talk about your radicalization, what, what, you're talking about your embracing of Christianity? That's the radicalization. I know! Just wow. becoming a Christian is so radical. <laughs> well, uh, uh, on, on that I, subject, I, let's bring up the Kotaku article. So Sorry. I'm a yeah I'm a massive gamer as you know. Uh, used to always read sure. Kotaku every day, especially for their game guides. You know, I you know, I actually consulted on some myself. How door. do I <laughs> open a door? How to get through the door? <laughs> the cheat code to opening the door. <laughs> uh, Kotaku EIC resigns over new oh, editorial no. edict. Oh no! So give me some background on this, guys. Uh, is this basically to, to get everybody to quit? Yeah, uh, that, that's what it <laughs> okay. seems like. So basically, yeah. Geo, Geo Media, which is basically Gizmodo who owns Kotaku, they put out some new directives that essentially to stop with so much of the news or outrage-based articles, and instead they're going to focus on like doing game guides and things like that. A lot of people are saying with the amount of people they have and what they're expected to do, that it feels like they're just trying to get everyone to quit so they could just burn Kotaku up. That's really yes. what it sounds like. Oh no. People. And now that they're asked to play games and review games and not maybe be so political, oh. basically saying, I quit, I can't do this anymore. This <laughs> yeah. isn't what I signed up yeah. for. You mean I have to play video games and review them for the gaming website that I've been part of? It, What's yeah. this gonna do with Trump? Uh, Jen Glennon, who took over as editor in chief of Kotaku in October. So this is how many editors in chiefs in two years? The third one in a couple oh, years. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah Stephen Tatel depart in 2021. Patricia Hernandez, who's a fucking insane person. Yes. Fired August of 2023. So there you go. And uh, is Alyssa Mercanto, Mercanti, whatever her name is, uh, is, she is she still there? For right now. For yeah. right now. I think the time so. being. Get started on those uh, walkthroughs or whatever they're supposed to be doing. Well, she's doing a hit piece on yeah, Melanie and, and anyone else that's uh, <laughs> they deem transphobic, homophobic. Uh, that sounds like a gaming thing, you know. Yes, this is yeah, just yeah. your typical game hit piece journalist twat who despises everyone and everything, doesn't like gaming, doesn't want to be in the gaming exactly. space. Nobody gives a flying fuck what anyone from Kotaku's got to say. Somebody from Kotaku could have a scoop on an asteroid hitting Earth in five <laughs> minutes. Nobody would give a shit. Yeah. It came from Kotaku. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would give Pretty a much. fuck. Well, the question is, you know, with her writing this hit piece, was it going to be for Kotaku? Because it seems like I they're know. not going to publish it at this no, point. It, it's to go on the resume. It's to go on the resume for their next stepping stone 
which is orange run bad. But uh, it's an election year, and that's also why this is happening. It's like, it's 2016. Uh, there's a war in Palestine, and Donald Trump is about to be elected. It's 2024. There's a war in Palestine, uh, and Donald Trump is about to be elected, and the gamers are mad. This is what happens, and conspiracy theories thrive in these little weird liminal states between elections. People need to rally up the base and get people angry, and how do you do that? You tell them that trans, black, lesbian with uh, disabilities are, are coming to take your game out of your house and turn your kids gay and and if you don't vote now uh it's gonna happen it's very simple to you're a nasty person i'll tell you i was uh looking for uh uh what are mccunty's tweet about uh being a sex worker, but I th- she deleted did it. Nobody yep. get a screenshot of that. No, Grums has a screenshot. Grums, of it. Oh, yeah. does Grums? Okay. Uh, yeah. I love how Kotaku hired ex cam girls to write about gaming and how sexist gaming <laughs> gamers are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to sex work because at least when I get fucked, I get paid well. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna press X to doubt that A she all gets right, fucked right. and B she gets paid well. So yeah. Yeah, there you go. yes, and th- and these are the people writing. Uh, for for games journalism you know it's a good day today media across the board like old legacy media is dying uh in america and it's just fucking great it makes you feel good it fills you full of joy little little pep in my step you know Mm -hmm. a little song in my heart this is the free market working this is nature healing this is the uh (laughs) universe unfolding as it should Alyssa, whatever her name is is going out and completely leaving out the part in all her interviews that they started this, that it yep. was going mm-hmm. after that aggregate on Steam or whatever, that account that was just You're pointing right. out Sweet Baby Inc. Which yeah, is, stuff that was already public, yeah. too, which is the yeah. ironic thing she, about all this. All this information he posted on yep. Steam was off of their fucking website. And the curator group does not tell anyone to do anything, okay? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just informing the customer about who yes. worked on what, and then they launched the harassment campaign. That guy that worked for Sweet Baby Inc. legitimately told their followers to get it, their thing cancelled and Cabrutus banned off of Steam. Told their followers to do. That is a direct harassment campaign launched by them. And that's the key piece of detail. They're all tr- omitting and yeah. missing. Yeah, and, and this goes way back. I mean, rewriting Ripley happened to us. Mm-hmm. We radicalized yep. the little Ryan over there, you know? Yep. For me, once I started diving hard into some of these people's YouTube videos, uh, you kind of get hooked. Maybe they'll stop pushing this feminist agenda that has driven Star Wars into the ground. Documented history of dozens of anti-white tweets. It's not just about Star Wars anymore. It's about all the pop culture that's being invaded. And I would say that Ichibaka's title of this article is a little tame. She has a huge problem with white people. Be a part of that community and that group of people. It was really fun. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, God, I almost <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. You know, it, and then it, all, all of thirty people read that article. I know, and they all work for Lucasfilm. It's really weird. <laughs> Yeah, I know. How weird. Yeah. yeah. And then they play the victim. Like the narrative by these yep. dog crap journalists is that there's a harassment campaign against them and uh-huh. Sweet Baby Inc. No one is even really consistent with like the attacks against me right now, you know? Like they're they're racially tinged because they think I'm Latina, but then they're also anti Semitic because they think I'm Jewish. But then <laughs> they're also saying that I'm anti Semitic because I said you can't be racist against white people. All of it is you know hateful kind of stuff because i also had a cold so i couldn't even go out and like see my friends or have any fun and i was just kind of like sitting around like "Mm -hmm, Uh who's gonna send me a death threat next so it was (laughs) very interesting weekend and then they're saying just shut up and take it you bigot it's like piss off you scumbags you're not gonna pull this off this time we've we've had so much gaslighting they can't get away with this gaslighting because people are now hitting them with receipts if you're a creative working in AAA, which i did for many many years um put this stuff up to your higher ups and if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants when you ask for research go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, don't listen to that. You're harassing us. Well, no, look at Kiss Cringed. They're the one that started the campaign to try and get this person's account. Oh, yeah, well, Melody Max a racist! (laughs) (laughs) Nerderotic.com, please subscribe.